friends, this is the last lesson that we'll deal with um, using the arrow method um, for a little while. And before we get started with that, I want to show you a little trick that will help um, with not only today's lessons, but other lessons in the future. So sometimes problems, instead of, um, they'll use words instead of numbers. So for example, if you have 20 tens, and they actually write the word tens. What is, what is 20 tens equal? What number? Okay, and a real easy trick is that the tens, like I, I taught you guys before, represents, is gonna have a zero, right? When we think about tens, we, you know, we do 10, 20, 30, 40. How many zeros does it have? Only one, right? So that 10 kind of represents a zero. And if we had like a 20 hundreds, 20 hundreds, we know that we would have to add how many zeros? Two zeros, okay, instead of one. So you can think about that 10, you can kind of have your superpowers and just imagine that word 10 is a zero, okay? So if that 10 represents a zero, What's my answer? You have 200. So it's an, a quick trick that you can um, remember when you see words instead of numbers. So let's do a couple more. So if I said I had 68 tens, what number do I have? So again, think about that 10, that word 10 becoming a zero. So we have 680, okay? See, it's pretty, it's pretty quick, it's pretty easy. All right, what about this one? What about 96 tens? We're getting higher. 96 tens, 960, right? This represents that zero, okay? What about 46 tens? 400 and what? 460, right? So that represents a zero. Okay, what about 31 tens? Equals, yeah, 310, okay? And then if we had an easy one being like 40 tens, we just add another zero to that, which equals 400. Okay, so that's an easy, easy uh, trick that we can remember for today's lesson. So today, I know yesterday was all on um, subtracting using the arrow way, the arrow method. And so now we're gonna bring it back to subtraction, or sorry, uh, bring it back to addition, okay? And so remember, we are wanting to get to those, to those landmark numbers in our brains and using the arrow way so that we can quickly add um, what el whatever else we need to add. So for example, if I have 490 and I'm going to add 200 to that, I can start off by going 490 and I have my arrow and let's just add 100, okay? If I added 100, it would be 590. If I added another 100, it would be 690, okay? Both of these together are 200. And what does my problem ask? It's adding, it's wanting us to add 200 to 490. Well, did we do that? Absolutely, so our answer is 690. Now, some of us might mentally do this, which is awesome. And you can see that two, we see that two, we're adding 200s. Are we messing? Are we adding any tens or ones? No, oh, we're just messing with that hundred. So over here, we'd just be messing with the hundreds place. So four plus two gives us the six, and then the 90 stays the same, okay? But then we can start having maybe not only not only adding um, hundreds, but maybe adding more than just hundreds and maybe adding tens to that too. So if, for example, we had 
200. Let's see. No, let's do this one. Let's do 660 plus 180. Okay, so we'll start with the 660. And our arrow, well, what would be easier? Let's add 100, okay? So if we add 100, easy peasy, 760. But are we done? No, it wants us to add 180. So let's see, we have 760. So if we add, well, if we have 760, so what can get us to our landmark number? Now, we could just keep adding tens. So, but let, let's think a little bit deeper. So if 760, well, how much more do I have until I get to um, 100, the next 100? So I have 760, 770, 780, 790, 800. So that's four tens that I added, which gives us 40. So if I were to add 40, that gives us 800. And 140 equals 140, but did we add 180? So we're still missing four more tens. So what's 800 plus 40? So we're going to add another 40 and get easy peasy 100, 840, okay? So we kind of broke it down um, so that we could add them all pretty easily in our brains, okay? We didn't have to do any vertical method. We're just adding it in our brain. So if, you, if we double check and make sure that we add the full 180, we have 100. 40 plus 40 is 80, okay? So we have 80 to, right here and then 100. So 80 plus 100 is 180. So we know that we achieved what it asked, which is adding 180 to 660. So we have 840, okay? All right. So um, the last one we're gonna do is going to involve um, our little trick that I taught at the beginning, okay? And it is, we have 66 tens, okay? Plus 20 tens equals how many tens? Okay, so we have to figure out how many tens. So really, easy peasy, if we're looking at this, 66 tens is really what? 660 plus 210, sorry, 20 tens is just 200. So we have 660 plus 200. If we just added 200 using the arrow way, we're only messing with the hundreds place, so that's going to be 860. So our answer is 860, but we're gonna, instead of that zero, we're gonna use the word tens because that's what they stated over here. So instead of 860 tens, it's just gonna be 86 tens, which is the same thing as 860, okay? Awesome, so I'm going to give you another three problems using this addition. Um, and then you can stop the video after I get them all done and you can, or right now, you can even go get a piece of paper or pencil, uh, dry erase, doesn't matter, whatever you need to, to write with. And then these will be your three problems, okay? So the first problem is going to be, it's going to be 200 and, so let's see, two, let's do 700 plus 230. Okay, our second one is going to be 370 plus 280. And then our third one is going to be 67 tens plus 28 tens equals how many tens? Good. So we have three problems. Again, it's 700 plus 230 equals what? 
370 plus 280 equals what? And then 67 tens plus 28 tens equals how many tens? Okay, alrighty. Um, good luck and uh, rock it out.